Pete here and I'm back for some more Bridge Master Solutions and today we're looking at the beginner level 1 A21 to 30. So let's jump in, see what we can do. So to get into it, just click practice, then Bridge Master. So go level 1, A21. Okay, so here we have it. We're in four hearts. And we have a spade loser, we've got two club losers and a diamond, so one, two, four losers. We need to discard, well, get rid of some of them. The only real spot we can get rid of them is on diamonds if they break 3-2. So here I just want to win the first spade and draw trumps because I can't handle them getting a spade trick and knocking out my ace of clubs because for me to set up diamonds, I need them to, they'll have to win a diamond trick. And if that's the case, they'll then get their one spade, their two clubs and a diamond. So at this stage, I'll now duck a diamond. I have to lose a diamond at some stage, but the main reason I need to duck here is preserve my ace, king of diamonds as entries. So we'll go over there and we'll lead a diamond up and see if diamonds break 3-2. They do, so we get to win that. And ditch a spade. Preserving the seven of diamonds as long as possible, but uh, still not good enough to make the beer card. But uh, we'll make 11 tricks. So that was hand number 21. So ducking the first diamond, winning the first spade. Moving on to hand number 22. Here we're in four spades. We've got three heart losers and a diamond loser. It's very important to count that we have a heart loser here. Some people go, oh, but there's a doubleton in dummy. I can only lose two. But we haven't trumped it yet. But uh, that is it precisely what I'm going to do. And I can't draw trumps at all because otherwise the opponents might switch tack and draw trumps on me. Like this. So here I'm going to win and give up another heart. And now I'll be able to trump my uh, final heart. If I hadn't... Uh, if I'd even drawn one round of di uh, trumps, the opponents would have been able to... Um, they could have drawn my trumps and prevented me trumping the heart loser there. So really important to count your losers um, like from the long trump hand. I had three hearts in my hand and that meant that I was going to lose one if I didn't do something about it. I needed to do something that was trumping the uh, heart. Here we're in three no trumps and we get a spade lead and we've got four heart winners, a spade and a club is six so we need three more. So for that, it's not taking a club first, because that'll only get us two more. I need to knock out the Ace of Diamonds. But the first thing I want to do is duck two rounds of spades to try and cut communication between the uh, east-west hands. If spades are 4-4, four, four, then I have um, only three spades and a diamond to lose. If they're 5-3, I need the person with the Ace of Diamonds not to be able to uh, continue a spade. And now I've got three diamond winners, my spade, my club, and four hearts. I don't want to take the finesse. That would just be for an over trick, and I'd risk going off. So here we'll cash two diamonds. Oh, I'm so close to being able to get this beer card as well. So I can play a heart over. Heart. Get to unblock my diamond, because my seven of diamonds is good. But, like, it's one card off. But uh, still making my contract. So moving on to hand number 24. Here uh, we're in four hearts and we have three spade losers. So I've got a singleton club opposite a singleton diamond. So it really looks like I want to try and cross rough this hand. So I want to see what the opponents do after three rounds of spades. Because if they play a trump, that this will change what I do. If they switch to a diamond, it's... Uh, or a club, it's pretty different. Okay, so here we've got a club switch. And we've got ace, king, queen, jack, ten, nine of hearts. I just need to trump one diamond low and one club low. I don't want to take any finesses whatsoever. So up with the ace of clubs, up with the ace of diamonds, just cashing my winners early. We'll trump a diamond and we'll trump a club. Okay, and with those standing up, now my six hearts are all high, and I'll have ten tricks. When you're doing a cross rough, it's really important to count your winners. And here, if I could get eight roughs, I only needed two tricks with my two missing aces. So that was no need to take a finesse in that case. 
So that was hand number 24. So count your winners when you are trying to cross off. Hand number 25. Here we're in three no trumps. We've got a heart lead. We have uh, two hearts and six diamonds. We need a extra trick. And I don't have the timing to set it up in spades. If it goes heart and I win and I play a spade, they'll win the king. And they'll knock out my ace of hearts and play a spade. And they'll win the ace. And then they get all the spade, oh, the two spades, all the hearts that they've got remaining, and the ace of clubs. So here, what I really need to do is hope that the ace of clubs is on the side. I could cash two rounds of diamonds ending my hand, but that won't really matter. We'll just lead a club up and hope West has the ace. If West didn't have the ace, there was no way we were making this contract. But uh, diamond over, we'll cash the heart and just cash our diamond tricks. So three no trump making. Here it looks very dangerous to play a club because I've only got the king and nothing else. But when you realize that if I play on anything else or just cash my diamonds, I won't have the timing to set up my ninth trick. And the opponents have lots of winners that they'll, they'll be able to set up. So by not playing a club up, you are guaranteeing you're going down. Here I was taking a risk, but it was very worthwhile. Okay, here we're in four hearts, and I have a diamond loser, a spade loser, and at least two, well, no, I have two heart losers, a spade and a diamond, and I need to get rid of one of them. I can discard a spade on a diamond, but to do so, I'll need to uh, knock out that ace of diamonds first. And here, I can't play hearts at all, because I will run out of the timing to get rid of my spade, because if I play a heart, they win, they play a spade, I win my king, play king of diamonds, they win their ace and they get their spade straight away. So I can't even play one round of trumps, but here I can knock out the ace of diamonds straight away. I've got the ace of clubs as an entry, which I'm going to use, and just hope that no one can trump that uh, diamond. So we'll play the queen of diamonds, getting rid of a spade, and now it's time to draw trumps. So we'll trump this spade and another heart. Okay, hearts were 2-2, two, two. all the hearts are gone, so we have the rest of the uh, tricks now. So, making 10 in 4 hearts, that was hand number 26. Moving on to hand number 27, here we're in 4 hearts, and we have a heart loser and 3 spade losers, no diamonds, no clubs. Here when the opponents lead the Queen of Spades, it's very likely that they've got Queen Jack. That's the most likely holding that they've led from. They might have led from, say, Queen Doubleton Spade. But my main fear here is that they win three Spade Tricks straight away and they get the Ace of Hearts. If I put the King of Spades on, it'll go Queen, King, Ace, and the Ten of Spades will set up by force. But the biggest fear is West actually has five spades to the Queen Jack, rather than that they've led from Doubleton Queen. Now, if I... Oh, sorry, I don't even have nine of spades. Um, I, if I duck the spade, West can't really continue spades very effectively here. If they do, I can play low and I'll force out the ace. So ducking a spade makes it so that West can't continue without giving up a spade trick here. So I've continued the jack, and now my 10 sets up. And just need to hope that that doesn't get trumped, and it didn't. Okay. Next step, I have to work out how to get back to my hand. Hearts are 4-1. So I'll add a diamond. I'll need to trump one winner. I'm going to assume that uh, they might have led a singleton club if they had it. But uh, we'll trump our winner, and then draw, draw trumps. So, making 10. Notice here that I like there's no issue trumping clubs. The only fear I had there was drawing trumps at the end. Right, that was hand number 27, moving on to 28. Here we're in four spades with uh, four diamond losers, no clubs, no hearts, no spades. So again, here the best bet is I just want to try and trump a diamond. Maybe the suit breaks 3-3. Three, three, uh, but if it breaks 4-2, I just want to try and trump it. If I draw a round of trumps, the opponents will probably win the race. Um, 
in being able to draw my trumps. So they might in theory be able to draw trumps, but if the person with uh, four diamonds has to have the third spade. Diamond, they break 4-2, and the person with four diamonds didn't have the uh, final uh, winner there. And there's still a trump out, uh, the final the final trump. And if I drew even one round of trumps, they would have been able to make it. So here I had four little diamonds, opposite three little, and I was still fine to try and go for trying to trump it. That was making four spades in hand number 28. Two to go, this is hand number 29, and here we get a heart lead, and we have a spade winner, two hearts, three clubs is six, a diamond is seven, and the opponents have tapped my safest suit, so I can win that. I don't want to duck it, because I've got only one stopper in all the other suits. And if clubs break 3-2, I'll get six clubs, two hearts, a spade, and a diamond for ten. I only need nine tricks. Uh, if I was playing match points, I'd probably just cash my winners. Uh, but here I can protect against clubs being 4-1. So I'm just going to duck a round of clubs. And now when they return a spade, I can now go up with the ace of clubs. And I've got the entries that even though clubs are 4-1, my clubs are all winners. If I cash the ace, king, queen of clubs first, I wouldn't have been able to get back there in the end. So that's why I ducked the first round of clubs, because I was protecting against a 4-1 split. And yeah. Anyway, that was hand number 29, making three no trumps. Final board. And here we are in three no trumps on a club lead. And my partner's got seven diamonds, so we've got a heart, two clubs, and a diamond is four tricks. And here the could let my jacket clubs win, but I just want to guarantee that I can get to all those diamonds. So if I can get two clubs and a heart and six of my seven diamond tricks, that's my nine tricks. But my main fear is diamonds break 3-0 and someone holds up, up that king of diamonds till the third round. So I'm going to win the ace of clubs so that I can get back to that king. And we'll play ace of diamonds and diamond and a final diamond. Now I've still got that king of clubs as an entry. So heart lead. Can't afford to duck this, or can I? So I'm wondering about making the beer card here. No, I can't do it, because if I duck this, they can play uh, clubs at me. So can't afford to duck that. I have to try and make my tricks, and that's making three no trumps. So here is just being careful about my entries. There's a few close beer cards in this one, but uh, still no actual beer cards. Anyway, that was hand number 30, level one. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.